Um, aside from that, gang, let's harvest some green grapes, unripened grapes. Okay. Now, I've, we've we've done a video of this before. Uh, I don't know if it was a live stream. Probably was a live stream, or it might have been just a video that I did uh, where we harvested some of these uh, unripened grapes. But these grapes are amazing for cooking. They give a tangy flavor uh, to food, to meats, really, and to uh, veggie dishes as well, right? So I ended up using them. Uh, every now and then I use a fair bit of them. I go on a, using a lot of them. My mom uses a lot, so I harvested a bunch already, sent it to my mom. I'm going to harvest more, wash them, uh, dry them, and then put them in the freezer. And you just grab them from a freezer handful and put it in with your food. And they go amazing in dolmates, right? Dolmas. Uh, okay. Ding bobber, I used to feed spiders and ants as a kid. Me too. Uh, looking back at uh, it was cruel, but I found it fascinating to watch them kill the ant. Yeah, it's uh, it's like having a pet. You're feeding a pet <laughs> another living creature, right? Is it cruel? As a kid, we experiment, right? As uh, uh, not Spike, but uh, uh, Jet uh, from Cowboy Bebop. If you ever watch Cowboy Bebop series, uh, there's an episode where Jet, I believe it's Jet, is talking with uh, Spike, and uh, he mentions there's no such thing, no, nothing as cruel as a as a child, right? As a kid experimenting, because you see kids pulling legs off of bugs and they do crazy stuff because they don't know uh, the consequences of their actions, right? And it is true. It is true. Let me show you the grapes. Check this out. Let me take off my glasses. Check this out. Now, we got grapes coming in all over the place, right? What's, what's happened, or the way it works is, the grapes that are at the ends of the branches, the vines, ripen sooner right so we're gonna harvest grapes from this side and we still have a whole bunch of grapes over here and these ones we're probably gonna wait until they ripen more okay these ones are actually uh, like really there's a lot of grapes here so we're just gonna harvest the ones on this side for now okay we'll see how much we get uh, because I need to wash them and dry them and throw them in the freezer and uh, our freezer is pretty packed um, so i'll have to uh, make room uh, best music in anime ever cowboy bebop is legendary indeed and samurai shampoo and samurai shampoo and space dandy so we're gonna throw them in here i'm gonna show them to you as i bring them So this is, right? As far as comparison of size, like this is how big they are. And you can eat them like this. They're really tangy. Tart. But they go amazing in food, right? So I'm just going to throw them in here. gonna read the comment do you check out the anime I recommended the boxing um, I checked out uh, half an episode just to see what it was like fantastic micro twist is that the one from the 1980s the boxing one I forget what it was called I think it was 1980s or 1990s mid 1990s was not
I'm going to keep on harvesting. I'm going to fill this, uh, this thing up. All right. No, Hajimo no Hippo. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Wasn't that from the 1980s or mid-1990s? I watched like half an episode of it. It looked fantastic. Sometimes it gets really windy here, so and grapevines are very fragile when they're young. So the wind sort of knocked a lot of the uh, grapes off this one. So this one looks pathetic. Uh, Microtus, no, that is from early 2000s. The manga has been going off. Oh, maybe I'm thinking about the manga. It's the longest manga ever. It's the longest manga ever. Okay, okay, okay. So I got confused with the dates. Yeah, but it looked fantastic. Elder God, now I need some fruit. <laughs> Grapes. And then compare it, compare that one to these two. All right? Nice. I'm gonna get a little step ladder so I can reach some of the higher ones. Okay. <clears throat> they look like uh, long bron coleus, what I remember from probably grade four biology. Apparently, according to a family DNA test, I am extremely intolerant to peaches. I love peaches. All the God says, "Oh no, peaches are awesome." So what do you do with the, uh, use them for cooking. So uh, when we're cooking chicken dish, for example, if you're uh, roasting, roasting some chicken or cooking in a pot, uh, on a pan, like with potatoes and you can use uh, plums and apples and pears, you can put it all in there and then take a handful of these and just sprinkle it on top. 
and then cook it with that it gives the chicken an amazing tangy flavor right you can use it for meats as well okay and we do or you can with ham um, with ground beef to, to make the um, dolmatis dolma the inside of the dolma you mix whatever you're doing we've done this before the ground beef and the onions and the greens and stuff like this and you take these guys and you put them in there and you squish it and you roll them up like dolmas are you t take the ground beef and roll it up in grape leaves right and the inside is the unripened grapes and it gives it an amazing tangy flavor an amazing tangy flavor